Okay, for this Unity tutorial, we're going to do a wispy line particle effect. And the end result is going to look something like this. We're going to have a wispy line following around a cube that's orbiting around a sphere. Okay, so let's start by first making a new scene. And in the new scene, first I'm going to put my object the sphere in the center of the world and I'll just say reset and then I'll add my cube that's going to be spinning around the world let me just do a reset on that and then I'm just going to position the X I'll set by 5 okay and the other thing I guess I'll do the cube is I'll shrink it down because um, what I really want to see is the particles not the cube then to the cube, I'm going to add a script to have it orbit around the um, sphere. So this is a script I wrote, and let's see what it wants here is what's going to be the center that it orbits around. So I'm just going to give it that center. The script itself, it's just this. Um, here is the speed inspector variable and the center inspector variable. And then I just use the transform rotate around command. Okay, and I spin around the vector up, which is this y-axis. I spin around the y-axis. And how fast I spin is the speed. Okay. So if I were to run that, just make sure we got this going straight. Yep, we got a cube rotating around a sphere. If I want to, I could just adjust the camera to match the view. And play it again. Cube rotating around the sphere. Okay, cool. Now we're going to add the particle effect to the cube. Well, yeah, first we add the particle system to the cube. And by default, um, here's the particle system, and the particles just flow out by default. So we're starting, we're going to change things one by one here. Um, first, the shape is now emitting as a cone. So I'm going to change it to emit as a sphere and the emission is shooting off in all directions. So if I were to press play right now, what happens is, look, it looks like the whole particle effect is rotating along with the cube. And that's cool if you want that, but we want the wispy effect. So what I have to do is change the um, simulation space for the particles. Instead of being related to this local object, that they move with the local object. I'm just going to have them related to the to the world instead, and that'll have this effect that the particles emit, and once they emit, they kind of just stay where they are. They don't keep following the, the cube. Okay. The other thing is when the particles are emitting, they are like shooting all over the place from the sphere, and um, we could stop that from moving so far by changing the speed that the emission comes from, the sphere, from a 5. If we lower it down, lower and lower and lower, here's half that. And you can see the particles will stay, they'll stay tighter. And then we could even just totally take it down to 0. So they emit, and right where they emit is where they stay. Okay? We're starting to get the particles emitting, kind of staying in a line. Um, so let's have that setting there for the start speed. The speed is zero. Particles won't move from when they come out. And the other thing, I guess, is the radius of where the particle, particles are emitting. Instead of emitting from anywhere in this big circle, I want them to emit from the small point as possible. Let's see how that affects our... Ah, it's getting to start to look more like a line now. It has these little dot tracks, like... Okay, so um, we're going to get rid of those little dot tracks by changing... What do we change? The emission. So right now it's set to emit particles over time. And we're going to change it from emitting over time to emitting over a distance. And I'll just say emit 30 particles 
over uh, distance. So now instead of emitting, no matter if I'm moving or not, now it's going to only emit when I move. So let's see how that effect happens to change the look. Ah, there. Now we're getting a solid line. Solid line, which is kind of fat. All right. Mm, I could control the length of the line over here by how long the particles exist. So from five to three. Uh, did it do it? Three. How about to, oh, there you go. Half the size and to one. So, okay, that's kind of cool. I'm going to leave it at one. So I got a lifetime of one, start speed of zero. I emit rate over distance and the emission of the sphere is down to a radius of 01 instead of scattered all over. It's a very fine emission of 01. Now, um, the next thing I'm going to do is the size of the particles over the life of them. So by default, now I turn size over lifetime, it's going to go from small to big, as you see in this line here. So what's that look like? <laughs> looks like that. I'm going to reverse it to, let's pick a line like this one, from big to small. Let's see how that looks instead. Okay, from big to small. It's funny, the line's really long still. Ah, that's because the 5 is there. Let me put that back to a 1. Press play. Okay, so there we go, and the emission's all white. Um, the other thing I had was the colors are changing. So that's color over lifetime. And now I'll explain this color over lifetime thing here. Um, the top line, this is the alpha, and the bottom line is color. So let's say in the middle here, I want the color to change to use the color picker to red all right and then from red i have i want to have it change to black i'll just pick black right there all right so now that would go from white to red to black and in about that distance right so i could see that and let's see how that looks white to red to black just at the end where it's getting real small. And the other thing, I guess, with the color um, to help it look like it's fading away is I could use the alpha also. So here, um, just at the end of it, I could say the alpha stays full and then just at the end, the alpha fades off to zero, okay? And I could move up the black. So at the end, it's black. And I'll just move these over a little. And there, let's see that. Okay. So now we have that solid line and as it's going around. So one thing missing is the craziness, the wispy lines. And to do that, there is a setting called noise. So I could click it and turn it on and let's see what happens. Ah, there we go. It's a wispy line. And um, if damping is on or damping is off, I'm going to use the damping off. Kind of looks more like a dragon tail. And there we go. We made the effect.